Hello and welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today we are discussing dilution calculations. So this does kind of go into um, the section of moles, so we will discuss it in our moles section of videos. So it says there are occasions when the concentrations of solutions are too high or too strong. If this is the case, we can perform a dilution calculation to see how much water is needed to dilute the solution to the required concentration. So we can use this equation found right here. We have C1 V1 equals C2 V2. You may also see something like this. So M1 V1 equals M2 V2. These mean the exact same thing, but we're going to look at C1 V1 equals C2 V2 today. Okay, so um, let's discuss what the C1, the V1, the C2, and the V2 mean. So first up, we have C1. This is our initial concentration of our solution. And V1 is our initial volume of solution. Okay, so if you know what C1 and V1 are, you can probably guess what C2 and V2 are as well. So C2 is our final or diluted concentration. Concentration. Write it shorthanded. And V2 is our final or diluted volume. Okay, so C1, V1 equals C2 and V2. We are going to apply this equation to a couple of examples here, so let's get into it. Number one, it reads, if 250 milliliters of a one molar stock solution of H2SO4 is diluted to 1.5 liters, what is the concentration of the diluted solution? So one quick note here, folks. If you ever see in these types of questions, milliliters, you should automatically, uh, you should automatically convert that to liters. Okay, so 250 milliliters, we can probably do that off the top of our head. It should just be 0 0.25 liters. Okay, so first step, we are going to write down what we have. So we're going to write down our C1, our V1, our C2, and our V2 on the side here. Okay. So reading the question, we're given a few bits of information. We're given 250 milliliters of a one molar stock solution. So that's going to be our C1 and our V1. Okay, so one molar is going to be our first concentration or our initial concentration and 250 milliliters let's convert that to liters is going to be our initial volume or our first volume okay and we also have one more bit of information here it says that solution is diluted to 1.5 liters that is going to be our second volume or our final volume. So since it's already in liters, we can go ahead and write down 1.5 liters in our V2. And it looks like the question wants us to find the concentration of the diluted solution. So it makes sense that we should be looking for C2. Okay, so let's set this up here. We have C1, V1 equals C2 and V2. Let's fill in exactly what we know. So we have one molar and that's multiplied by 0 0.25 liters and that is equal to C2 because we do not know that multiplied by 1.5 liters. So the trick to this is we are going to isolate what we want to find. So we want to find C2 which means we have to move our 1.5 liters over to the left side. So we are going to divide both sides by 1.5 liters. Those will cross out and you should be left with exactly what you want, which is our 
C2. So in your calculator, you are going to type in one molar multiplied by 0.25 liters, and that is divided by 1.5, and your C2 with significant figures should be 0.17 molar. Do not forget your units on that. Okay, so remember moles per liter is molar, so make sure you write 0 0.17, as we should have two significant figures according to our question. Okay, all right, that is example number one. Let's move on to example number two. So it asks, what volume of a 2.4 molar stock solution of HCl or hydrochloric acid is needed to create 500 milliliter solution of 0 0.5 molar HCl? Okay, so again, we will write down what we know. So C1, V1, C2, and V2. So we are given a initial molarity. Okay, so our C1 is going to be 2.4 molar, and it wants us to create a 500 milliliter solution of 0 0.5 molar HCl. So that is going to be our C2 and V2. So remember, we're given milliliters here. We should think to ourselves, we want to um, convert that to liters. So let's say instead of 500 milliliters, we have 0 0.5 liters. Okay, And finally, in our C2 section, we can write down 0 0.5 molar and we are going to be looking for that initial volume of our stock solution, okay? So again, our equation, we have C1V1 equals C2V2. Let's fill in what we know. We have 2.4 molar, and that is multiplied by our V1, which we are finding, and that is equal to 0 0.5. 0.5 molar, let's put that in brackets, multiplied by 0.5 liters. And this time we are isolating for our initial volume. So we will divide the left side by 2.4 molar to isolate our V1. And if we divide the left side by 2.4, we must also divide the right side by 2.4 so we can cross out or cancel out our um, C1 from the left side, and your V1 will be isolated. So we will type into our calculator 0.5 molar multiplied by 0.5 liters, and that is all over 2.4, which gets us a volume of 0 0.10 liters. And if you would like to, you can put this into milliliters here. So we have 100 milliliters of stock solution is required. Our significant figures do look good. We only have one in 500 milliliters and we only have one in our um, 0 0.5 molar. So 100 milliliters looks good to me. If this video has helped, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.